Hi, I'm Charles and Copeland, and I'm 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 going to be teaching the regulatory state uh, uh, during the spring 2012 semester. Um, the objectives of the course are are, are twofold, really. Um, it's an introductory course um, that will uh, encompass primarily uh, an introduction to uh, statutory interpretation and the legislative process, and uh, an introduction to uh, administrative agencies and the regulatory process. Uh, and in short, um, uh, you know, for the most part, our lives are governed by statutes on the one hand, like the Clean Air Act or No Child Left Behind, uh, and they're governed by administrative agencies and the implementing regulations that, that they enact uh, to further those uh, statutory commitments. And, 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 and we're going to talk a lot about the tools of statutory interpretation by reading cases. Uh, and we're going to talk a lot about the process by which agencies engage in uh, rulemaking and adjudication to implement uh, the statutory provisions that uh, have been delegated to them uh, by Congress. Um, so the class, uh, I think, is, is, is likely to meet two days a week. I think Wednesdays and Fridays is, is, is my assigned day. Um, and it's going to be primarily uh, some lecture, but primarily discussion. I want to I wanna talk to you. I want you to talk to one another. Uh, and we're going to read cases. Um, I hope that we'll have uh, two um, semester uh, projects, one involving uh, statutory interpretation, another involving the regulatory process that I hope will give you some, some concrete context for the material that we're covering uh, uh, in class. Uh, this is a class I'm excited to teach because I teach administrative law and I teach civil procedure. And so I'm interested in the class because I'm interested in public law generally, but I'm also interested in, again, trying to introduce both the skills of of statutory interpretation on the one hand to students, uh, particularly the 1L students, because I think it's so very important. Um, and I think it's important that you get a sense that um, the law is broader than uh, you know, the, the, the law that, that, we, that we might see in, in, in sort of the ordinary common law course. And that public law in America is primarily defined not by the Constitution, but by uh, statutory and regulatory frameworks. And so I, I really hope that, um, that I'll see some of you uh, in, uh, in class uh, next semester. Thanks.